السلام علیکم و رحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ یا ربی لک الحمد کما یمبا ہی لی جلال وجی کا و عظیم سلطان اللہ رب نا لک الحمد بما خلقت نا و رزقت نا و حدیت نا و فرشتانہ اللہ لک الحمد بل ایمان و لک الحمد بل اسلام و لک الحمد بل قرآن اما بعد فاعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ربش رحلی صدری و یسر لی امری وحل العقدتم اللسانی یفقہ قولی ربی زدنا علما اللہ فقیح نافی الدین اللہ انا نسال علم نافی بام علم تقبل ورسکن طیبا آمین رب العالمین رب یسر ولا توسر و تمیم بالخیر اللہ ثبت نائند الموتی بلا الہ الا اللہ آمین رب العالمین اللہ صلی اللہ محمد ولا علی محمد اللہ صلی اللہ محمد ولا علی محمد اللہ صلی اللہ محمد ولا علی محمد لیسن ٹوئنٹی ون اینڈ ان شاء اللہ ان دس لیسن وی آر گوئنگ ٹو ٹاک اباؤٹ ایمفسائڈ جملہ اسمیہ ایکسٹرا پروناؤن وی ول سی ان اٹ اینڈ دیٹ از کالڈ ریفری پروناؤن سو لیٹ سی And uh, last class, we have uh, some homework. Inshallah, we can uh, uh, do it together if we have time at the end of the class, if uh, anyone has question regarding it. So let's start our class first, <clears throat> our today's lesson. So uh, the referee pronoun, sometimes in uh, our Jumla Ismiya, uh, we are going to see a pronoun in it. Uh, which is coming uh, between uh, ism ishara and musharun ilai so what is the purpose of this uh, pronoun basically we learned that when there is no al on the word following uh, an ism ishara then it is a sentence right for example when i say haza baitun over here haza baitun So after haza, we do not have al over here. So that means um, this is a house, right? So now it is making a sentence and we're gonna say this is a house. And if after uh, ismulishara, I have al right after it, then it is going to make uh, a fragment and hazal baitu will uh, would mean this house right hazal baitu mean this house now what if i want to uh, make this bait particular right i want to say this is the house and now i'm going to further say something about it this is the house i used to live right So I want to make this house particular. How I can do that? Because if I, uh, how I, uh, we make something proper by adding al, right? And whenever I'm adding al after haza or pointer, then it, it, it is going to be translating as this house. So what is the solution? How I can... Uh, uh, make it uh, specific by saying okay this is the house so uh, the grammarian came to the conclusion saying that okay this is what is going to happen after pointer fragment whenever we want to make something specific then another um, pronoun will be Uh, 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 will be brought there as a referee pronoun. For example, when I say haza huwal baitu haza this this is this or then I can say it is the house. 
right so i am now saying the house and uh, this is making this uh, sentence emphatic and this is making uh, this house specific another example if i say tilka sayaratu that uh, car tilka sayaratu that car but i want to say that is the car so i'm going to say tilka hiya hiya sayaratu that is the car right so i need to uh, bring my uh, referee pronoun accordingly with the haza because haza is masculine singular then i need to bring singular and masculine pronoun and that is haza and for tilka since this is a feminine version right so we need to bring the pronoun referee pronoun which is going to be the feminine so that's why we are saying tilka hi es sayaratu that is the car now let's see some example from the quran e pak it says zalika now zalika is ismul ishara right who al fawzul azim so what is this who are doing over here referee pronoun otherwise it should be that great success right if there is no who are that translation would be that great success but i want to say that is the great success right so now the who are according to zalika zalika is masculine and singular so that's why who is broad zalika who al fawzul azim so now it become very emphatic jumla ismia and we are saying that is the great success so ismul ishara should match in number and gender with that pronoun so ismul ishara over here we can see that number is singular gender is masculine right and now for the who are the referee pronoun number is singular gender is, gender is masculine. masculine okay so they are going to match in gen, uh, in number and gender next one fa ulaika humul fasiqun so fa is uh, connector over here ulaika what kind of uh, ismul ishara is ulaika who can answer plural by plural plural masculine plural masculine uh, masculine and uh, lil baid good right so ulaika um the number is plural and this is masculine and now oh uh, since we are uh, making it specific those are the ones who cause corrupt corruption right so now the referee pronoun should come accordingly so ulaika is uh, we said that this is plural this is masculine so we are going to bring whom over here faulaika humul fasikun those are the ones who cause corruption clear make sense yes alhamdulillah why we are bringing uh, referee pronoun who can explain is yes, to emphasize no not to emphasize but also to uh, as because it's fragment right when a creative fragment this is still fragment when, when i yeah. said this is the great success no actually it is making a sentence now to emphasize and uh, mm -hmm. stress uh, uh, to point exactly what uh, we are referring to yeah to make uh, our precise motion, yeah precise and uh, to make it emphatic and uh, what is the rule for that to insert what pronoun after ismul ashara ismul ashara mm -hmm. after ismul ashara we need to bring a pronoun Pronoun. and uh, okay. how they pro uh, this pronoun and this mul ishara should go together they should match in, they should match in number and gender. and gender they should match in number and gender perfect okay so so far so clear so the people who just came over here uh, in person 
So we are talking about how to make Jumla Ismiya uh, emphasized one, right? And when we, uh, and basically this is gonna work with the pointer. When we, we have a pointer fragment, or I should say the pointer, but we gonna, we want to make uh, a sentence. For example, uh, the first, first example, it says Haza Baitun, right? We know that the pointer can make a sentence or pointer can make a fragment, right? When pointer make a sentence and when does it make a fragment? Anyone remember? Make a sentence when there is no al, and when yeah. is al after the pointer, it, make a, it become a fragment. Exactly. So pointer can make a either sentence or a fragment, right? So after pointer, if there is al, then it is a fragment. And if there is no al, then this is a sentence. That's the difference. So haza baitun, how are we going to translate haza baitun? This is a house. So this is a sentence. Why this is a sentence? Because after haza, there is no al. But if I say hazal baitu, now is that a sentence or a fragment? fragment. Now this is a fragment. I'm going to say this house. I cannot say this is a house or this is the house. I cannot say that, right? Because after pointer, whenever there is the al, then this is a fragment. More is coming this house. I'm going to say something about this house. This is not a complete sentence. But if I want to, uh, I have... Uh, Haza or any pointer, and I want to make a sentence out of it. I want to use my musharuni lay, not musharuni lay, whatever I'm pointing to, I want to make it specific. So now, Haza, I can bring a uh, pronoun in between them, and that will allow me to make this into a sentence, and I'm being very specific to that thing I'm pointing to. So uh, when I'm saying haza hul baitu, now the translation would be this is the house. This is the house I used to live 10 years ago, right? So now it is making a sentence, but it will allow me to make this uh, bait with al specific, right? Otherwise without hua, that I cannot make a sentence. Clear? Yeah. Makes sense, right? Okay, so we will see more example in inshallah that will help you guys. So we saw these examples, Zalika, Huwal, Fawzul Azim, in Quran Park it is used. So if I say Zalika, Fawzul Azim, let's say there is no Huwa in it. How are we going to translate? Zalika, Fawzul Azim. How are we going to translate that? That green. Oh, why that is? That great success. After, after Zalika, there is Al, right? That means this is a fragment. Fragment, yes. So Zalika, you're going to say that. Great success. Great success. And then what does Fawz mean? Success. Azim yeah. means great. great. So great that great success. success. How are we going to translate that great success? But I want to say that is the great success. Now I'm making a sentence and making my great success the more specific. So that's why the hua is brought over here. Okay. So I can bring hua back. And now I'm, I can say that is the great success. Now it is making a sentence. Without hua, it's not a sentence. Without hua, it is a fragment. Okay, this is the whole idea I'm explaining over here. Next one, fa'ulaika humul fasikun. So let's say there is no hum over here. Fa'ulaika fasikun. Translation would be? Those fasikun. No, again, you are making sentence. You are making sentence. Those sinners. Those sinners. Those sinners. So we need to say as a uh, fragment, right? But when I say those are the ones who are Fasik, now I can bring this uh, uh, whom. Why I'm bringing whom? Why not hua or any other pronoun? So 
plural first because, is plural, plural, plural exactly because ulaika is plural in a number and uh, its gender is masculine so that's why i need to bring the pronoun accordingly so i'm going to say fa ulaika humul fasikun okay okay if uh, instead of fasikun if i want to use the ladies what is uh, what going to be the lady version the plural version hunna version of fasikun hasikin no fasikun ladies fasika 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 apen apen fasika apen alfa fasika apen ka tu apen alfa sika tu now what pronoun i'm going to use khunna khunna so ulaika hunna alfasika alfasika this is how it is going to match subhanallah okay next one now we are going to do a little practice over here it says turn the following fragments into sentences without removing the al so first of all how we going to translate ulaikal muflihun ulaika humul muflihun no those are the successful no those are the successful ones listen to the question ulaikal muflihun how we going to translate i didn't put any pronoun in between yet ट्रांसलेटेंटेंटेंटेंटेंटेंटेंटेंटेंटेंटेंटेंटेंटेंटेंटेंटेंटेंटेंटेंटेंटेंटेंटेंटेंटेंटेंटेंटेंटेंटे
मेहमान आ जाए क्या बला नाउ सुबेला सो दिस बला इज लाइक टेस्ट टेस्ट एंड ट्रायल ओके सो हाजल बला उ ट्रांसलेशन वुड बी दिस टेस्ट दिस टेस्ट दिस ट्रायल दिस टेस्ट दिस ट्रायल नाउ वी गोना मेक इट अ सेंटेंस हाउ वी गोना से दैट hada huwa al bala huwa we going to use huwa because haza is there right haza is singular haza is masculine so i'm going to use uh, pronoun accordingly and that would be huwa haza huwa al bala u translation this is the test <laughs> this is <laughs> it is the test it is a trial <laughs> Okay, perfect. Number four, Hazi he Hazi hil yadu. What is yadu mean? Anyone knows? Yeah. Hand, hand, hand. Not two hands. It's not yadani. It's One yadu hand. only. One hand. One hand only. Okay. So now translation would be this hand. This hand. This hand. And why Hazi he is used? Because the uh, body parts yeah. are feminine. Body parts in in pair feminine. in pairs is feminine body parts in pair is feminine so that's why hazi he is used okay now we gonna convert that into a sentence hazi he here hazi he yadu he yadu he yadu yadu okay uska irab uh, don't change it it's irab okay yeah you gonna yeah. remain yadu okay number 5 ट्रांसलेशन वु बिलीविंग लेडीज Mm-hmm. Interesting, right? Yeah, it's very. Alhamdulillah. Okay, so now in modern standard Arabic, there is another template to create. There is. Remember, we learned that fi kulubi him maradun whenever our M B K is mukaddam and our mubtada is mukhar, but it is common. Then in the translation, we can say there is right. So there is a. we can use the uh, that term now there is sorry it is made up of the word hunaka followed by mubtada mukhar so in modern um, arabic instead of just saying fi qulubihi maradun in quran e pak we will see fi qulubihi maradun that uh, kind of examples and uh, the translate we gonna uh, do that there is sickness in their hearts right so we are saying there is but in modern uh, arabic they say hunaka maradun fi qulubihim but we are not interested in uh, uh, modern arabic right yeah. uh, we are not going to go in saudi and uh, speak even they don't speak uh, proper uh, arabic right so now hunaka maradun fi qulubihim there is a disease in their hearts but uh, in modern uh, arabic we can use hunaka as well hunaka hijabun bainahuma so hunaka hijabun bainahuma there is hijab between them and the other way is uh, gonna be bainahuma hijabun so there is a hijab there is a barrier between two of them i remember uh, when i went to hajj all these vendors over there they just uh, like uh, sell you things in urdu 
So we think when we go to Saudi Arabia that uh, we're gonna might to have opportunity to speak Arabic or learn Arabic, but unfortunately they speak Urdu over there. <laughs> Sometimes they go to Chinese restaurants. Oh, Chinese they're speaking Urdu. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so where we are. Even the spoken Arabic is different. Yeah, from, exactly. from, yeah. Even the spoken Arabic of dialect of different nations, like uh, uh, Lebanon, is different from Syria. They have different slangs. The dialects yeah. are very different. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. Okay, so uh, basically, uh, that was all the lesson today. And today we will do just more practice of it. So only this concept we need to remember. So easy lesson, inshallah. But uh, uh, let's do some uh, um, era practice together. So huwa Quranun majidun. So what kind of sentence we are looking at? Huwa, what kind of, uh, what do we know about huwa? Pointer. It is the male, very good. Masculine. Masculine, Muzakkar. very good. Singular. Muzakkar, yes. Okay. Now, wh what else do we know? Whenever these Muqtada. pronouns, this is independent Muqtada. pronoun, right? Muqtada. Very good. So, independent pronoun always starting a jumla ismiya, then their role is going to be as Muqtada. Muqtada. So this and what is Muptada basically? The part before the is all basically the main subject. Okay, so Hua is main subject over here. Hua it is. Now we need to know more about it. What is going to be explained? So that is going to be the cover of it. So we are saying it is. Now this it, we need to know more about it. And the news is coming about this it that is called khabar in Jumla Ismiya, right? So this huwa is our muktada over here. And now what is Quranun Majid doing? The khabar. Yeah. And should I just say Quran is khabar? No, Quran is both together. Why, why I'm taking I both together? Yes. Because they are connected. Exactly. They are connected. So they are playing the role of Mosuf Sifa. So that's why we're going to say uh, that they are one bucket. So basically, this is our khabar. So we have Muqtada and khabar. Our Jumla Ismiya is complete. Now, if we want to make this uh, Jumla Ismiya as uh, emphasize, uh, uh, like we're gonna bring emphasis to this sentence. How we can do that? Asa huwa Quranu majid. Inna, inna is the. Yeah, that we just learn haza huwa Quranu majid. Yeah, that will make sense, right? That is one way. And what is the? What could be the other way? Inna. We can bring inna, right? So we can say inna hu Quranu majid. That would be one emphasis, because inna one emphasis but if i say inna hu and then i say who are quran un majid indeed no doubt it is quran un majid right so this is almost two emphasis over here and one emphasis is for doubtful audience two emphasis is for when somebody is refusing right so that is basically a debating so we are debating and we are clearing out no no doubt about it. This is the Quran Majid. It just okay. one question. We can put the la also in the full Quran Majid. The last time, exactly. Yeah, we can yeah. do that. Yeah. In now, who, who are la Quran and Majid? Exactly. Yeah, we can do that too. Okay, next one. Hada Zikrun. What is Zikr mean? Remembrance. Remembrance. Yeah, zikr. Uh, and what could be the zikr uh, when, uh, in terms of Allah Subhanahu wa Taala has explained zikr in Quran Pak? Nasihat. Yeah, it could be uh, admonition. It could be nasihat. It could be was right. Quran. And what else? Quran. Reminder. Reminder. Also... Any way to remember Allah Subhanahu wa Taala, right? That is zikr. 
So Haza Nikun, Haza is what? Quantum. And after this is Ishara, we do not have Al, so that means. Al, so it's a problem. No, it's a sentence. It's a sentence. Okay, if there is no Al, then it is a sentence. That's why I'm going to say, Haza, this is. I'm going to bring my is here. So Haza, Zikrun. So Haza, this is Zikrun, reminder. Haza would be Muftada and Zikrun is my khabar. Simple sentence. Now, if I want to emphasize it, what should I do? Haza, who? 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 Haza, who? Or Haza, who? A Zikru. Right? I can. This. This is the Zikr. This is the reminder. This is the. Um, uh, like in a siha, right? So mm -hmm. after hua, haza hua zikrun or haza hua az zikru. So I can even put al over here. Both ways fine. Then I need to remove this one, All right? Or I can bring inna. Mm -hmm. How are we gonna say with inna? Inna <laughs> I think we cannot put inna hu together. We can say inna hada dikru. Inna hu or can we do both together? Inna hada or we can do inna hada hu dikru. Yeah, we can say inna hada. Both ways. We can say inna hu or inna hada. But if we, are, if we are being very particular about that, we are pointing towards something, then basically we need to bring, ha bring Haza, right? So inna mm -hmm. Haza, and that is going to be our Muptada, and then Zikrun can be mm -hmm. our Khabar, inna Haza Zikrun. Or inna Haza Hua Zikrun. So there mm -hmm. are many different ways to emphasize it. Haza Zikrun Mubarakun. What is that translation, first of all? This is a blessed remembrance. This is a blessed remembrance. Blessed reminder. Yeah. Okay. Now, Haza would be Muptada because there is no al after it. So, this is my Muptada. Zikrun Mubarakun. Is Zikrun Mukhabar? Both together. Both together. Right, That's Zikrun Mubarakun, Mosuf Sifa fragment coming as a khabar. So, oh, this is Haza Zikrun Mubarakun. Hua Mu'minun. He is a mu'min. Very good. He is a believer, a mu'min. So, Hua would be Muptada. Muptada and Mu'minun. And now emphasize this sentence. Haza Hua Mu'minun. Inna hu wa mom. Inna hu. And then we can bring another emphasis. Inna hu wa mom. Right? Or we, if we just say inna hu muminun, that would be one emphasis, emphasis over there. Okay. Huwa ilahun wahidun. He is one God. So, ilahun wahidun, mosuf sifa. Mosuf sifa, yes. Right? So, hua is muqtada, ilahun wahidun is khabar. Khabar. And if we're going to emphasize it, inna hu hua. Inna hu. Inna hu hua ilahun. Aza hua ilahun wahid. Well, then we are pointing towards something, but in over here we are not pointing in the uh, original sentence. Just stating a fact. We can do if we want to point out. Yes, we can do Haza. Uh, nothing is uh, wrong with that, but uh, I'm being particular over here that we are emphasizing this sentence. Then inna hu ilahun wahidun will make more sense. Haza siratu mustaqim. This is a straight path. 
this is siratul mustaqim right so haza is muqtada siratul mustaqim is cover right and now if you want to emphasize it haza huwa siratul mustaqim haza huwa siratul mustaqim very good another inna inna haza siratul mustaqim very good inna haza siratul mustaqim inna haza huwa siratul mustaqim right so there are many different ways haza yawmun this is a day this day this is a day right not this day this is a day this is a sentence so haza is muqtada yawmun is khabar zalika yawmun that is the day that is a day so zalika is muqtada yawmun is khabar easy zalikal baytu sorry zalikal kitabu la rayba fi subhanallah that's fragment this is now now this book zalik zalikal kitabu right we say that book right according yeah, to book. our grammar it should be that book but allah subhanahu wa taala words does not bound to any grammar right so we will see exceptions here and there in quran e pak whatever we are learning so zalikal kitabu basically we gonna see in the translation it said that is the book and you know just alif lam mim zalikal kitabu la rayba fi hudal lil muttaqin this first aya i can show you six variation how we can translate and they are not going to make any difference in the meaning or anything but they are going to enhance the beauty of the aya subhanallah six different ways we can see even some uh, uh, like uh, um, scholar says alif lam mim and then we say zalik al kitabu right so they say that alif lam mim is basically this is uh, uh, muqtada alif lam mim it is zalik al kitabu this book is pointing to alif lam mim subhanallah so inshallah when we are ready we will see all these uh, uh, six variation of uh, that aya but uh, right now zalik al kitabu la rayba fi so that is the book no doubt about it at all okay so why i'm saying at all i don't know if we did uh, la nafiyatu lil jins before did i mention that no Let's okay so today we are going to talk about it la nafiyatu lil jins there are many different la uh, in uh, arabic language in quran e pak we will see one la is simple la uh, that is called la nafiya for example if i say uh, someone says that a book i would say la no this is not a book this is something else right so just la simple negation right i'm saying no then it says uh, the another lam la that is called la nahiya nahiya mean to forbid someone so la mean this la nahiya mean to forbidding someone for example we command and forbid right do this and don't do this right so when we are saying don't do this this is basically la nahiya and that uh, is easy to spot because uh, this la is going to make some changes in the uh, fail after it right so that is different and this la nafiya doesn't do anything and now the third la we are going to talk about is la nafiya to lil jins what is so special about this la nafiya this la nafiya after this la how we are going to recognize that after this la we are going to have an ism not a fail an ism and this ism will be light what does light mean single it will have a single haraka and this single haraka basically will be nasab okay so that will be nasab in status 
So after this law, we are going to have any sum. This ism will be light and this ism will be with one fatha. And subhanallah, our kalima, la ilaha. La ilaha. What do we notice? After la, we have ilaha. We just see over here, ilahun wahidun. Right? But why it is ilaha with one harika and that is fatha, that is nasab. Why? Because this la is called la nafia to lil jeans. And uh, what is jeans mean? Like the category of something, right? So that la negate all the category of whatever this la is talking about. For example, when we are saying la ilaha, now ila, how many different kinds of ila could be? How many? Ilaha, ilahi. No, this ila means people. No, many. Ila mean the one who is worthy of worship, right? So, how many different kind of ila do we know in this world? We know one, but other people know many. Look at the Hindu community. Yeah. They know many more. How many different kinds of ila? Right? And if we do not talk these idols, we just talk about ourselves. Look at uh, into our heart. How many ila do we have in our hearts? One only. Desires. Right? We are ila of our family. We have ila of our career. We have ila of, I don't know, the list is uh, unlimited, right? So la ilaha basically over here is saying that there is no worthy of worship. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying that uh, in the category of all these deities that you can think, you can worship or you can go behind them. There is no ilah but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Basically, it's mabud if you take the others and compare. It mabud is the one component of ilah. Oh, yes. The ilah, we, unfortunately, we translate ilah as mabud. That's it. No, but ilah it has so many meanings in Arabic. Ilah is the one who is worthy of worship. Ilah means the one who who you love that much that uh, you can die out of love. We see in this world people die out of love for people, right? But the true love that if we know truly Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we can die out of love for him. That is Ila. And the one that uh, in, in need we find him, uh, like we seek his uh, help, with desperation, that is Ila. So Ila has desperation in it, Ila has love in it, Ila has the Ibadah in it, and Ila has one more thing I'm missing. Ruju, you go back. Ruju to Allah. Yeah, so unfortunately, we just think that Ila means the worthy of worship and that's it. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is basically is uh, categorizing doing nafi of all any kind of ila that we can think or uh, we can follow right so Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is basically is uh, doing negation of all these ilas this is la nafia to lil jins over here the example we can learn that um, we can't see what you're saying uh, Ustaza. Mm -hmm. we cannot Sorry. see what you're saying Ustaza. you cannot see Sorry, what you're saying, my dear? We cannot see what you are saying. When you when you are saying right here, we don't see what, what the right here is. La ilaha. You cannot see over here? Oh, 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 oh. What happened here? Okay, sorry. Okay, so... So this law basically do the negation of uh, uh, that is that's why uh, another name for this is categorical negation. 
so it decline or it do negation of all kinds of whatever category this law is talking about like after law whatever ism is there it negate all the category of that ism so, and in this example over here it is negating all kinds of ila that we can think and we can worship or we can follow right so la ilaha illallah subhanallah only if we just understand the meaning of la ilaha illallah and bring in our life that's it we do not need anything else subhanallah but unfortunately we just say it on our tongue but not with our heart another example in quran e pak we say la raiba which is over here zalikal kitabu la raiba fihi so allah subhanahu wa taala in the very beginning of the quran is setting our mind that when you come to this quran first of all alif lam mim all these words no one knows the meaning of alif lam mim so allah subhanahu wa taala is saying when you come to this quran come with the uh, mindset that you do not know anything you do not know anything then he saying that if you have any doubt about this book because if we are doubting on something we are not going to take heed from that thing right so allah subhanahu wa taala is clearing out all the doubts and he is saying zalikal kitab this is the book la raiba fihi there is no kind of doubt in it because this is la nafiyatul lil jins right raiba if we can see this is ism this is light and this is uh, uh, mansub so there is no kind of doubt in it and this raib there can be many other uh, words for, in quran e pak used for shak right doubt uh, raib is uh, doubt so there are many other words but raib is the doubt that is not like uh, we, uh, we can take it very lightly the doubt that is going to eat you up inside if you have that one doubt is okay i saw on the street someone is passing oh this is a pinky or someone else right so i will let it go after a while but one doubt is you cannot uh, leave it uh, by yourself right it going to kind of keep coming and make you distress restless that kind of uh, doubt is uh, right so la raiba fihi allah subhanahu wa taala is saying that no doubt about it that this book is uh, uh, full uh, like there doesn't uh, doesn't uh, yeah it doesn't have any doubt in it all the facts whatever is said in quran e pak is full of truth subhanallah so this is a beautiful mindset allah subhanahu wa taala is setting in the very beginning of the quran e pak Uh, so la raiba then la ghaliba that is also in quran e pak we will see and now we can see that four reason for an ism to be light one we learn that la nafiyatul lil jins but could uh, the other reason we already know partly flexible ism right so they are light then mudaf light and when we call someone so these are the for reason and ism could be light that's it so if you see any ism light then you uh, our mind should go for only for uh, uh, these four reasons when um, uh, like one is when we call someone i cannot say ya zaidun or ya shuaibun right i cannot put the mean on it so whenever ya come we need to Uh, make it light so ya zaidu ya shuaibu and we know that our mudaf is always supposed to be light and partly flexible they do not take the mean and now today we learn that uh, allah nafiyatul lil jins uh, the ism come after it is always going to be light light and nasab okay so now let's do some uh, some more examples over here let's do number 8 uh, here that is some are very easy and i can do just couple of them so min ayati hi min ayati hi laylu wan naharu wa shamsu wal qamaru what kind of sentence it is uh, number 8 over here min ayati hi 
فیلیا Jumla is me. Yeah. So that's why you are saying min ayati is what? MBK. MBK. Okay. So now we have MBK for Jumla is me. What is the most important ingredient? No, not for MBK. So Jumla is me. Muktada. Muktada. So then we should be looking for a Muktada now. Yeah. This is Muktada. 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 Al-Laylu, and then Vau came, Van Naharu, then Vau came, Vas Shamsu, then Vau come, Val Kamaru. So what does that mean? That is all, all Muktada. All Muktada, not Khabar. We do not need Khabar. We need, right. when we have MBK. MBK is the Khabar. Right? So most likely we need... Muktada, Muktada is must, right? So we are expecting Muktada before the Khabar. So Al-Laylu, Vannaharu, Vashyamsu, Valkamaru. So basically this is Muktada. And now this, what kind of Muktada it is? It is common or proper? Common. Because <coughs> proper. 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 Proper because this proper. is a proper. So that Al. means exclusivity is there Al. or not? Yes. How are we going to translate then? The night uh, and the day and the sun and the moon are the moon from our sun. signs. Yeah, are so from the yeah. signs. Are from among are the from signs. signs. From, are yeah, from, so from these are the signs. signs from him, from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And ayat does not mean only the ayat of Quran Paak, right? Ayat means miraculous signs. Mm-hmm. Miraculous signs of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is all around us. Ayat could be two kind. ayat e Right, Kauni is like uh, the one that are in the Kainat, in the universal, yeah. the ayah that we can see, right? So uh, they are also called ayat. So, Staza, are we going to put only or how we translate? Layl, Nahar, and Shams and Kamar are from among. But where is the emphasis? Mm-hmm. From his signs. Should be are only from his signs. Yeah, okay. So basically, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is creator of Layl, Nahar, Shams and Kamar, right? So these are, ayat are coming from him. Only from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. No one, un, uh, no one else is, can bring them, right? Yes. So we can say that only. Only from him, yeah. Yeah, yes. Okay, next one. Allahu Rabbuna wa Rabbukum lana amaluna wa lakum amalukum. So how we can break that, break it down? Allahu. Hmm, what kind of sentence we are looking at? Ismiya. Allah is our rock. Allah is your rock. Is Muqtada. Muqtada. Allah is Muqtada. The word Allah, do not say Allah is Muqtada, no. The word Allah. We're wrong yeah. to say the word Allah or Lafzul Jalala. Is Jalala. And then Rabbuna. What is Rabbuna? Mudaf. 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 But what this Mudaf Ilahi is doing here? Khabar. Exactly. So this is the Khabar. Now, Wa Rabbukum. Now, Ataf came, right? So, Rabbu Kum is basically connected to Rabbu Na. Khabar 2. Not Khabar 2. But Rabbu Kum is Motufun Ala to Rabbu Na. It is connected to Rabbu Na. Right? So, Rabbu Na wa Rabbu Kum, basically, this is the whole thing is the Khabar. Allah is Muqtada and Rabbu Na wa Rabbu Kum is the Khabar. How are we going to translate? 
Allah is our and your Rab. And your Rab. Our and your Rab. Okay. Now, Lana, this is a new sentence starting over here. Lana, for us, or we our have our Amaluna, our I Amal, Walakum Amalukum. And for, and you. for you is your, uh, your. For us are our deeds, and for and you are your, your deeds. deeds. Exactly. So, Lana, how are we going to label Lana? <coughs> MBK. Hmm? Yeah. MBK. Harfujar. Lam Harfujar, and I. Yeah, MBK. This is a Harfujar and now is attached pronoun. So this is MBK. Yeah. yeah. For. Lahu. For. Lahu for him. Yeah. Nana for us. Yeah, Lana for us. Mm -hmm. And Amaluna, what is the label for Amaluna? Again, MBK. Huh? Mudaf, Mudafile, Mudaf, Mudafile. Oh, MBK, is that. No, sorry. It's a mob. It's a mob. Amalu. Amalu. Right? So this Kafa, that means. Khabar, we need to khabar more than Muptada. Amaluna, Muptada. Muptada. Okay, so we, we should not be jumping towards Khabar unless we have Muptada. First, we need to find Muptada. Muptada is the most uh, like uh, wanted ingredient, right? So, Amaluna is our Muptada. But there is already a Muptada Allah. How many Muptada in one sentence? I said this is a new sentence. Oh, new sentence. Okay, so that sentence is done that uh, our Rab and your Rab is Allah. Now, mm -hmm. our Amal uh, are for us and your Amal is for you. Mm -hmm. Right? So, MBK, Mukaddam, and Amaluna. So, is there exclusivity here? Yeah. How are we um, going to talk? Yes. La. Yes. Because of uh, uh, now, um, Amaluna. This is, is proper because it's um, our, um, because the of, our deeds because of are na. only for us. Mm. Yes. My amal is not going to benefit you. Your amal is not going to benefit me. We think that if our parents were righteous, they will take us to Jannah. No. They can't. Unless you are in Jannah and then you can uh, uh, go higher with them. That is possible, but not from the hellfire to Jannah. Okay, so we need to get to Jannah before uh, we count on anyone. So, Lana Amaluna. So, Amaluna exclusivity is over here. Our Amal are only for us, and your Amal is only for you. So, again, Lakum is MBK, and Amalukum is what? Muptada. Muptada. No khabar. So okay. there's three sentences in here. Not three sentences. Lana Amaluna wa wow came over here. Mm. Right? Okay. So this is Motufun Allah. The whole sentence Walakum okay. Amalukum is Motufun Allah to Lana Amaluna. The whole sentence is connected to the previous sentence. We learn all that. So this is uh, should be a good practice for you and you should like this sentence is complete now next sentence is saying that our amal is for us and your amal is for us. So again, Lana is MBK, Amaluna is the Muptada, right? Or Valakum Amalukum, since there is wow. So this Valakum Amalukum, the whole sentence is going uh, connected to Lana Amaluna. So basically, there are two sentences over here. One sentence is saying that our Rab is uh, uh, our Rab and your Rab is Allah. And the second sentence is saying that our Amal are for us and your Amal is for you. 
So two sentences over here. Next one. Talabul Just yes. one more question, please. Uh, malukum is mukaddam. Uh, uh, this is the mubtada mukaddam uh, Mubtada muakhar. Muakhar. Uh, and this is proper, so that going to be exclusivity. Our amal, your amal is only for you. They are not going to benefit anyone else. Same like we said, lana amaluna. Our amals are only for us. They are only going to benefit us. So same idea, walakum amalukum. Okay? Yes. Number 10. Yes. Uh, number 10, talabul ilmi. What does that mean, talabul ilmi? And what kind of construction is it? Desire of seeking knowledge. The student of. No, no, it's, it's not student. Talabul. It's not talabul. Okay, if it is talabul ilm, then you can say student. Yeah. So talib is a different word. It this is talabul. Desire. So, talabul ilmi. Seeker of knowledge. Yes. Seeker of knowledge or seeking knowledge, basically. Seeking of knowledge. Faridatun. So what is this seeking of knowledge is doing over here? This is the main subject, right? Muptada. Yeah, so this is my Muptada. And what is Faridatun? Okay, so seeking knowledge is Farida. That means Allah SWT is saying this is an obligation on you. Right, and Mandatory. unfortunately, Talabul Ilmi, we made it this worldly uh, knowledge. Right, mm -hmm. if this worldly knowledge is uh, taking us away from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, away from Islam, then this is not knowledge. So, seeking knowledge, the knowledge that uh, brings you closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, is basically Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala referring over here. Talabul Ilmi, Faridatun, Ala Kulli Muslim. Muslimatan, Muslimatin. So Allah is uh, her fujar, Kulli is his fujar, then Kulli is all light, Muslimudaf, Jar, Idafa, Mudafilehi, and then MBK. MBK. Kulli is Mudaf, so Muslimin is Mudafilehi. Okay, mm -hmm. and then Muslimatin. So this is this Muslimatin is motufun ala to Muslimin. Yes, right. So this is basically the follower, and now the whole thing is what MBK, MBK. Right. So how mm -hmm. we gonna translate? Seeking knowledge is obligation on all Muslim men mm -hmm. and women. Mm -hmm. Subhanallah. So oh, can you explain the again? Can you explain the Allah Kulli Muslim? How how it became uh, uh, and became Allah is her mm -hmm. and Kulli is her also. So it Kulli became and became. Is some Majur you mean? Yeah, it's the Majur. Yeah. Okay, and then Kulli is not Kullin or Kullun. It is Kulli. Why? Yeah, that's what <laughs> I want to know. Why? Special mm -hmm. Madaf. Oh, okay. Yes. Not yeah, is a... Kulli is uh, because of Allah, mudaf, but this is uh, that could be Kullun, right? Mudaf, mudaf. If it is light, then it is being a Mudaf. Oh. So Kulli is light, so that's why it is being Mudaf over here. And oh, okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, it could be Kullin. Kullu nafsin mm -hmm. Yes. So Kullun could be heavy. Right, so uh, it, but this is not why we are saying that this is mudaf. I have another question, Sada. Why is it ilmi? And then it is light. Yeah. Why mm -hmm. it is light? Because light is like a Muslim who have mudafi lehi. simple say is That's why. Wo Muslimin ki wajah se light nahi hai, balki wo apni own reason ki wajah se, kyunki usko mudaf banna hai aur mudaf ko hamesha light hona chahiye, right? So that's why kulli is light. Uh, Ustaz, I have a question, please. Because Muslimin jo hai, ye to phir is kitek agar Muslimin ko mudaf banna hai, to phir wo hamesha jo hai, wo jar mein hota hai. 
नहीं हमेशा प्रॉपर किस में काम प्रॉपर Only Sorry. single person. And apart from this, you want to see the singular. I don't know. Singular will be Ali. Am I correct? My mic on. Hello. You are cutting off. I I cannot hear you properly. Okay. I I think she wants to know like Amalna is the plural, and then if you want to say my Amal should be Amali. Okay. No, that would be Amaluna. Amaluna. That is again plural. Our um. Okay. Amaluna, our amal, our amal. Yes. Oh. Or if you want to say my amal, amali, amali, my amal. Okay. Yes. Okay. Alhamdulillah. Jaga kalla. Okay. So now I have put uh, 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 like a lot of text over here. You guys can practice. and uh, let me know next uh, class if we have any question regarding it and then we can take it up as a class okay so inshallah we can end our session over here barakallahu li wa lakum fil quran al hakim wa nafani wa iyyakum bi ayati wa zikri al hakim subhanak allahumma wa bihamdika nashhadu an la ilaha illa anta wa nastaghfiruka wa nastaghfiruka wa nastaghfiruka wa natubu ilaik subhana rabbika rabbil izati اما يسفونا وسلام على المرسلين والحمد لله رب العالمين السلام عليكم